Today we're going to do some tips and tricks on how to do some of the reports and right now we're going to be looking at the difference between date from and date created. Get a lot of calls on this one. There is a little bit of confusion and it's not explained very well but we're going to go ahead and show you the difference right now and how to run a report accordingly. First of all, let's talk about date from versus date created. We'll go in here and we're going to pick up our favorite patient, Dwight again. And let's go ahead and look here, let's say on 1017, or let's say last Friday, you entered these two uh, procedures and left for the day because it was the end of the day. And you know, oh, so when I come back on Monday, I'll add the other, uh, the quarterization or whatever I'm gonna add to that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now and add that next uh, line of service that we were looking for. Be nice, so uh, oh, there it is, catheterization. We're gonna add that in there. And it was for the 17th, so we're gonna fix that. 17th. Yay! Okay, and then we save. Now, when we save this, yay, we know, we know. It says here they're all dates of service 1017. And we're going to go ahead and run a day sheet. And of course, when it comes up with the query, it's going to have the two that we're talking about date created versus date from. So we're going to first run it for the date from the 17th. All right, 17th. And we're going to see. Uh, all three of those show up in the report. Now, if we do the same report, day sheets, patient day sheet, and run it by a date created, we're going to get a whole different thing. So let's go with the date created, the 17th, and the 17th. This time you notice only two of those charges showed up. Hmm, what's going on there? Well, that's the date from or date of service. The difference between date from or date of service and date created is pretty much very simple if it's explained correctly. Date from is basically your date of service and date created is the date it was actually entered into the computer. So if you look here, we added the date created field over on, on our uh, transaction window here. Uh, and we have other videos there of how to do that, but you pretty much saw what we did there. We clicked on a little black dot and added the field. Anyway, you can see here that date created on Friday when we put in these original two, that's when they were created. And then we put in this one today or on Monday, which is 1020. So the idea on this, and specifically this report we're looking at, the, the, the day sheet, the idea here is date from. You're looking to see what was in the computer on the date of service you're looking for. The other one, date created, is when you're looking to see what was put into the system on that date. And the good uh, reason to have a date created is, let's say you want to see what everybody did on Friday. You want to see oh, how much, how many charges, how many uh, payments, how, all that stuff. How much did we actually put into the computer? So it gives you an idea on your side what work has been done and what's been entered during a certain time frame. So if we want to do that, we're going to go ahead and see if we're going to do today of what we put in. And it's just going to show up that one, it's the date of service to 1017, just like we put in. So that's going to show you the difference between date created and date from. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and found it helpful. If you did, let us know by giving us a thumbs up by clicking on the like button below. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to write those in the comment section below. And if you want to get more helpful videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.